All right, now we're gonna get our hydroponic system set up. Now this is just a single one bucket, two and a half gallon bucket with uh, clay balls and air stones. Hydroponics works on the method of it produces water dripping through the clay balls. The balls hold a little moisture. You plant your seed. We planted just directly into this with like a green bean before last year and it worked very well. You can also bring transplants in. It is recommended that you start in a materia called rock wall. It's basically cotton candy rock. They've taken a rock and heated it up to a molten state and then spun it into like a cotton ball form. It's very loose and then people grow and then in and incorporate that and plant that right into their clay balls. Well, we don't have rock wool. We are just going to take our seedlings, our lettuce seedlings, we'll put about three or four here, and we're going to let turn it on and fill it with mupu tea. We're actually going to throw some lettuce seeds in there and just see what happens. Now, the premise is that air gets forced through this air pump, goes in the bottom and forces air and uh, air down the bottom and the water is forced up and it drips through here and it hydrates the seeds or the plants that way. Aquaponics, on the other hand, is where you have a reservoir where fish is located and the fish water is pumped through a growing area and the plants absorb up the water, the minerals in the water, as well as the byproducts of the fish. So keep that in mind so you don't get the two confused. Hydroponics water, aquaponics, aqua meaning fish uh, is the way I remember it. So first we're just going to take our mupu tea here. Now brewing or uh, using mupu tea, wonderful way, it's an organic way, it's a, a healthy way of going about this. If you want to know more about the uh, different ways to do it and the effectiveness, uh, cost effectiveness of doing this, there'll be a link in the show notes below of an article that was written strictly for using mupu tea in a hydroponic system. So this will hold approximately two and a half gallons. On this system here, I've got a reservoir marker, the white line. When I get to the white line, I will stop filling it up. Now this mupu tea, every 10 to 15 days, we will re fill, uh, we'll empty out the old mupu tea and refill the reservoir with new mupu tea that we get in these little tea bags. So let's go ahead and see. Water's right there right now. We've got a little bit more ways to go. And we're at the white line there. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Now it doesn't smell, it doesn't have like a manure tea that you would assume that you re reflect on being like from a cattle lot. It's, it's very, uh, there's really no smell to it at all. So you don't, it's not stinking up the whole house. So now that we've got that filled, you'll want to check this about every, let's see, where am I? Oh, I'm right, I'm a little bit higher, but that's fine. You want to check this every three or four days because due to evaporation, you may need to add some liquid to this and you can either have more mupu tea brewing, one to three gallons, or one to five gallons for one to three days, or you can just top it off a little bit with some uh, tap water or well water, or if you have uh, municipal water, you can let it set for a few, uh, for 24 hours and just add it topped off because if it gets too low, it won't pump the water up and then your plants become dehydrated and die and you don't want that. So since we don't have the rock wool, we're just going to take, let's see here, these are some lettuce seeds that we saved from this year. There's about 65,000 seeds there. We're going to take and sprinkle a few of them in our hydroponic system, as well as we're just going to take, and we're going to take about, oh, we'll take this one here. We'll let the soil dry out a little bit. Now we started these about a week ago because we knew the lettuce, and we wanted to have the best chance of having lettuce in the hydroponic system by seeds or by little starts here. So all we're really going to do here is we're going to make a little indention where I uh, think would be best. Now these, there's holes here. One, two, three, four holes. So you can plant them around the holes and I think that's gonna be the best thing for me to do here. There's one there, one there, one there, one there. And we'll put one in the center. So we will go ahead and knock as much soil off of these as possible because they're going to be pulling the nutrients out of the, the mupu tea. So we're just going to do what we can to bury it in the rocks. 
Now we know that there's going to be some casual casualties here. We just we know that because we're doing it unconventionally, which is kind of like the, we like to do a lot of things, and we find sometimes the unconventional way works better than the conventional way. So we'll get do what we can. Now the advantage to using the rock wool, if you do want to buy that, is you can just set the whole thing in there. You're not fighting with the the clay pebbles or the clay balls here, like I am. All right, so we've got it on here, and we've got the air pumping into the reservoir, and the reservoir forcing the mupu tea up, and it's dripping. You can see it's dripping there, and it's adding, and the bubbles are there because of the the way the mupu tea is. Normal water wouldn't cause that, and that's perfectly fine. That's good that we had that that air, the the bubbles coming up. Now, what I'm going to do in addition to one, two, three, four, five, six in the center here, I've put two more there because. It, the moisture will begin to absorb into the clay balls and then they, they uh, will hopefully will take off as well. I don't have a problem with this in a 40 to 60 days just to be a giant globe of, of greenness. Now as these mature we're going to harvest them as we uh, see fit and we do have some additional ones left here. Now what I'm going to do with these here is thin, thin them out and bring uh, probably one or two over here and then just let the rest of them go. That one's the one I, I hacked off. Uh, let the rest of them go because in the instance that one of these or several of these, for whatever reason, don't make it, I can just take harvest these, put them in the, in the hydroponic system, and we've got everything at the same growth period. Now with the seeds here, I've got a mixture of several different seeds, and I'm just going to be very, very generous and just drop these in. Now, you won't see other hydroponic growers do this, but we don't follow the rules when it comes to hydroponic growing. So growing indoors, it can be a very enjoyable, rewarding, therapeutical activity during the very long cold months as most of us experience in the northern portions of the United States and North America. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.